get your taste buds ready. It's time for the Taste of Omaha. 3 News Now is a media sponsor of this annual event. And this morning, Cerise Cole is live at Elmwood Park with what you can expect this year. Good morning, Cerise. A lot of people are excited to see this back this year. Oh, Jenny, everybody is so excited to get out and about. Look at this. Setup is already underway for the Taste of Omaha. All the action gets underway at 5 o'clock tonight. Mike Mancuso is here with me. How excited are you? Last year, it was canceled because of the pandemic, like so many other events, but we're back this year. How happy are you about this? I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. And yes, we missed it. But I tell you what, we've got great restaurants, great entertainment with bands, some of the best that we have in the area. Just excited to be entertaining and have everybody come together. Yeah, so Mike, this was actually your brainchild almost 25 years ago. What made you come up with the taste of Omaha? It's a brilliant idea. You know, we needed a fun way to start the summer yeah. and get, uh, you know, all of this great restaurants that we have in Omaha, which we're so well known for. Yes. That this was an opportunity to bring it together in one location and have everybody have fun. Um, so it was something in 1998 that we started 24 years ago. Wow, and you started, you just had just a few restaurants participate now, right. then. Only about 15, and, and I tell you, it's just grown and grown, and so we're excited to be back. Uh, being in Elmwood uh, Park this year, uh, new location, so uh, because of the riverfront redevelopment, yeah. this is where, but perfect for this year because of all the shade that we have with all the trees and yes. all the free parking that we have at UNO and thanks to everybody for putting all that together. Okay, so let's talk about the food because that is the main <laughs> attraction, right? Tell us some of the restaurants that we can expect to sample from this year. Yeah, you get a chance to really taste a lot of different mm -hmm. flavors. Omaha's got great ethnic yeah. diversity. This is where you can see Mexican. If you haven't tried a street taco, mm -hmm. try one of those. How about a gator taco um, as it's something different? I would try it. I would um, try it. <laughs> Korean barbecue uh, is a, a new different uh, shish kebab mm -hmm. that you can try here mm -hmm. this weekend. And then a, a classic like the Omaha Reuben, a Lithuanian bakery you're doing. You have to, yeah. Uh, a B&G tasty loose meat sandwich. If you haven't tried one, it's an original. You um, and you can try it here. Yeah, see, that's what it's about. <laughs> Just try new things. Right. And what's also fun is you've thought about kids. I don't know if you guys can see behind us, but there is like a whole amusement park. This is truly a family event. Right. Yeah, and that's what we wanted to do with the amusements for kids. And we've got an actual kid zone stage, magic and exotic animals and for them to enjoy. Uh, but for the adults, um, you know, all kinds of different beverages here and great music. Uh, we have a culinary stage we are also yeah. doing and doing different demonstrations. People can learn a little bit uh, from that. But, uh, you know, something for everybody here, little little village, marketplace village jewelry and different wearables and different things that you can look at. Uh, so really something for everybody to browse you and have fun. You can spend the whole day out here. Yeah. <laughs> How many tickets should you get? <laughs> more, more, <laughs> more tickets, more fun. Yes. Buy all the tickets, sample all the restaurants. Yeah. Jenny, we're going to talk with the two chefs. We're going to be battling it out here at the Taste of Omaha coming up in just a bit.